What's up guys, Sal here. So when it comes to buying phones, the decision making process has surely become more difficult. Phones last longer, so a change must be made in a considered manner. Worse, there are so many of these things these days. It feels less that they're marketed and more that they are 3D printed. It's especially true for Samsung. I mean, here are all the Galaxy phones you can buy from Samsung. The Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra, S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra, S20 FE, Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, Galaxy Z Fold 2, Z Flat, Note 10, Note 10 Plus, Note 10 Lite, S10 Lite, S10, 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 S10 Plus. But wait, there's also the Galaxy A series, which is a mid-range version of the S series and tends to get features from the flagship line about a year later. Not only that, there's also the Galaxy M series, F series, their rugged phones, not to mention the special Galaxy W series. There are too many phones Samsung launches in a particular year. Which makes you wonder, why? Why does Samsung launch so many phones? Well, there are many reasons and it's actually a good thing for the consumers. First up, the price. The biggest purchase driver of smartphone consumers is the price. People choose their smartphones within their budget limit. That's why Samsung saw Galaxy S20 shipments volume decline when they increased the prices. But the Galaxy S21 series is selling well because Samsung has introduced more affordable models with some flagship features, basically a reduction in price. For example, if we're looking for a new flagship, that is new, speedy, great screen, great phone plus media consumption device, you have the Galaxy S21. If you want an even bigger screen and better camera, S21 Plus. Want an even bigger and better screen and even better camera, and if you can afford it, you have the option of the S21 Ultra. If you want to spend $100 on a new phone, there's a Samsung Galaxy device for you. If the price is no obstacle and you want to be on the bleeding edge, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is your $2000 dream machine. Basically, different phone models have totally different specifications. They do this to target different brackets of customers. Each phone model has its ups and downs, and they have a variety of price ranges. Customers who have a certain budget can pick a phone model belonging to that particular price margin and be satisfied with the product. So basically, to increase the number of customers, not only Samsung, but many other phone companies release a variety of phone models. Having a lot of choices is a good thing, just means anyone can find what fits their needs. Also, this strategy helps them sell more devices. Initially, Samsung would release the flagship models with two versions, with the main difference being screen size. But Chinese companies like Huawei then began growing market share rapidly and their flagship lines would include the standard version, a large screen version, and a light version with fewer features. Samsung resisted the trend towards lower cost flagships at first, but the pressure from Chinese manufacturers grew. Eventually, Samsung released more affordable flagships instead of letting Chinese competitors eat into that market. So to summarize, Samsung makes so many phones because they want to make a phone at every price range to fill every niche in the market to drive the last bits of adoption and to sell more units. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what do you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.